Our founder, Dick Jenrett, called Milford his Taj Mahal. It's a spectacular Greek Revival masterpiece designed and built by a Rhode Island-born architect named Nathaniel Potter in 1840 for the Manning family of Sumter County, South Carolina. Our new team is assembled here to begin brand new investigations of the property, the collections, and we're especially interested in the original stable. In addition to providing specs for the main house, the builder, Nathaniel Potter, also provided Manning with specs for the stable. It's an outbuilding, but it's an outbuilding, a dependency that's made to be seen. This is a very carefully designed building. It's essentially uh, a temple to horse racing. I think you'll recognize an echo of the Parthenon, an echo of a Greek temple with that shallow pitched roof, the classic fluted Doric columns. The attention to detail, it's sort of cosmopolitanism is extraordinary. So what we're working on right now is trying to understand the roof. This building needs a new roof, so the question then becomes, what roof? Do we simply put on another asphalt shingle roof? And if our focus in this organization was simply the maintenance of these buildings, that would be a reasonable choice, and it would be an inexpensive choice. That's not what we want to do. This organization is committed to caring for our buildings as well as it can be done. Preservation is not merely maintaining a structure. Preservation means intentionally choosing the best and most historically accurate path possible for a building. Jeff and I have been measuring in between principal rafters, trying to find cut nail patterns to determine the original roof. Specifications written in 1839 suggest that it should be wood shingled, but when we look at the sheathing at the underside of this roof, we see not enough nails, not enough historic nails for it to have been shingles in 1840. That suggests that this was a metal roof rather than a wood shingled roof. These buildings reveal themselves over time, and the closer we look, the more we learn about this building. So an important part of doing this work is ensuring that we have as complete and as detailed a record of this building as we can possibly get. And we get that using two contemporary tools. One is three-dimensional laser scanning, which will allow us to have a 3D computer model uh, of the building. The other is a model that's built up through photographs, and a photographic model will allow visitors to our website to look all around the stable. So it'll make this building newly accessible to a worldwide audience. Working in a structure like this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This structure is such a rare survivor not only in our state, but in the country. And it deserves the level of care, attention, and investment that we have long lavished on the main houses at our properties. The stable is just now starting to teach us its secrets. Through studying the original documentation, through exploring the structure, and through engaging the latest in cutting edge preservation technology, we hope to learn the full story that this building has to tell. It's 160 years old. But at the end of this process, we expect to know it as if it were brand new. It's an exciting process for classical American homes. We appreciate your support from the past. We hope you'll fully engage in supporting this effort today. And we look forward to your ongoing support tomorrow.